Hi, this is Joseph. Welcome to Tars Town Tales, Chris's time traveling adventure, a Lewisburg story. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today as we take you on an adventure with Chris, a young teen from New York, her grandma, some ghosts, and other friends we meet along the way. Chris is spending spring break with grandma in our home here in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, and learns all about the history of this town and real folks who lived here. But the only way that she can get back to her own century is by completing the tasks that her new friends have planned for her. Join us today as we travel to the past and explore our hometown. Today's story is sponsored by the Lewisburg Arts Council with additional support from the Lewisburg community. We start with Chris in class, back in New York City. Okay, okay, everyone, get settled. When that bell rings, you're supposed to be in your seats, ready to go. Take out your notebooks. Let's get started. All right. So we know spring break is right around the corner. But that doesn't mean we don't have to work to get done. As you know, we've been reading Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. You need to write a paper on how Dickens uses the setting to create a mood or atmosphere. Places are a very important part of any story. Not everywhere you go is going to be like our home here in New York. Chris, what are you doing for break? I'm stuck in my grandma's in some town in central Pennsylvania. That's no bueno. I'm going to Mexico. I'm trying to talk my mom into bungee jumping. Emma, do you have a question? Yeah, hey Teach, can I do a paper on Boston? My family and I are going there on break. I'll bet people have nightmares about you, kid. Mom, how far away is this place again? Like I told you, Chris, it's three and a half hours. And how long have we been on the road? We left at nine, it's 10.30, we have two more hours. And why can't I spend spring break with you and dad again? Chris, we've been through this. Your father and I have a few things to take care of during the break this year, and we can't make it. That's why your grandma is letting you stay with her. It's going to be fun. You always love her gifts she sends every year. Yeah, that doesn't mean I want to be there. Okay, we're here. Look, do you see Grandma on the front porch? Chris, I want you to be really good while you're here. Be nice and use your manners, okay? Yes! Hi, Mom. How are you? Oh, Erica, I've missed you. And Chris! You are growing up so fast. You're... You're, you're practically a young lady now. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, did you have something you wanted to tell your grandma? Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for letting me stay with you. Oh, it's my pleasure. We're going to have such a good time. We don't have much to do around here, but, but we've got plenty of time to get creative. <sighs> Sorry, Mom. Looks like I have to start getting back home. I love you. Chris, I love you too. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, come give me a hug. No, I'm good. Okay, your choice. Mom, I'll see you two later. Just call me if you need anything. Well, Chris, should we go inside now? I have some hot apple cider. Yeah, sure. So, are you still playing baseball? Yeah. Have you made any home runs lately? No, not really. Hmm. Um, uh, how about the band? Your mom told me that you were going to take up the trombone this year. Can I see my room? Oh, all right. Let's do it. I've given you your Uncle TJ's old room.
here you are, your Uncle TJ's old room. It's kind of small, Grant. Well, we bought this house a long time ago before we had a lot of money. I can't imagine those apartments in New York are much bigger than this very room. Do you have a TV? Oh, I, I don't watch a lot of TV. Oh, but I do love to listen to the radio. There's one right beside your bed. Is that what that is? I usually just stream music. What's the Wi-Fi password? The, 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 the what? Wi-Fi? Like, do you have internet here? Oh, I usually just go to the library when I need to use the computer. Perfect. I know something we can do to get you in better spirits. I'm going to the arts festival today downtown. One of the food trucks there makes the best funnel cake. Do you want to join me? No, thanks, Grandma. Oh, all right. Well, your mother tells me you're old enough to stay at home by yourself. In fact, you're looking like a young lady anyway. So why don't you just stay here and relax after your drive? There's a list of emergency phone numbers on the fridge. I'll be home in a little while. Gosh, are you kidding me? There's nothing on the radio that's for anyone under 40. Well, I am starting to get a little hungry. That funnel cake is starting to sound good. Become a volunteer for the Lewisburg Arts Council. If you'd like to make a difference in your community, please email volunteer at lewisburgartscouncil.com or fill out our volunteer opportunities form, which can be found on lewisburgartscouncil.org. Caitlin Molesky is proud to support this drama by creating the show's poster. Caitlin designs countless theater poster designs for theaters all around. More information can be found at caitlinmoleskyartwork.com. The Lewisburg Neighborhoods Corporation is proud to support this show. Their mission is to plan neighborhood improvements, advocate for Lewisburg neighborhoods, preserve historic aspects of the community, and to partner with the Borough of Lewisburg. For more information, visit lewisburgneighborhoods.org. Gosh, you'd think in a town this small you'd find anything within a second. Where the heck is that funnel cake? Mmm, that aroma. The arts festival always has the best funnel cake vendor. I guess after 25 years, you pick up a thing or two. Hey, uh, do you guys know where the funnel cake is? Yes. Shall we lead you? Uh, yeah. Lead me. How long is your visit, Chris? Oh, I'm staying till... Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, don't you remember? You told us. Uh, I guess I wasn't paying good attention. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's the reenactment. They get closer each year. Wait, uh, uh, let's go check it out. Come on, guys, they, they got swords. Ugh, stand clear! Tis a dangerous quarrel we doth engage in. Hey, let's get out of the way. There's some shade over by that bridge over there. Let's go check it out. Excellent choice. Here's a good spot. Hey, it looks like someone left a book here. Perhaps you should open it. It might have the name of its owner. Uh, okay. Good idea. Whoa! The Lewisburg Downtown Partnership is happy to support this podcast. Lewisburg Downtown Partnership brings together diverse community interests and resources to promote a vibrant downtown Lewisburg. LDP also offers gift certificates for use at over 60 downtown businesses. For more information, visit www.lewisburgpa.com or check out our Facebook page at Downtown Lewisburg. The Lewisburg Photography Club is open to local photographers, amateur and professional. Current Arts Council members are eligible for photography club activities. More information can be found at lewisburgphotographyclub.org. The Arts Council of Lewisburg is happy to provide another summer of music in the park. Taking place on the first Wednesday of July, August, and September, join us in St. Mary's Park for live music. For more information, visit lewisburgartscouncil.org. Uh, what? Where? Where are we?
we? What? What's happening? Greetings from the 18th century, Chris. What? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> you just traveled through time. What, what are you talking about? That's not possible. Wasn't there a bridge over there two seconds ago? I... Hello, children. That seems to be the trouble. No trouble, sir. We're only playing a game together. A rather loud game at that. What are your names? I'm Harriet. My name's Mary. And I'm Amelia. What about you, Fraulein? My name's, uh, Chris. And I'm Ludwig Durr. Uh, Mr. Durr, where are we? Why, you're in Durrstown. At least, that's what I'm hoping to call it. I've never heard of that place. How far is that from Lewisburg? Chris, you're in Lewisburg. You move through time, not through space. I know nothing about this Lewisburg you speak of, but this town is my creation. This town? So you're the founder? Why make a town here? There's literally nothing here. Not yet, but in time. People needed somewhere to go after the devastation in Wyoming County. The river, trees, and animals give everything we need. I set up a mill and started selling land. People needed somewhere to go, and I had a vision of making a place for them to flee. It took a few tries, but eventually I settled here. Certainly, Chris. Towns don't just appear after all. If you children are all right and it's all the same to you, I have to be going now. My wife and I are preparing cookies for the poor on the Sabbath. Yeah, I think we need to be going too. What was all that? Where are we? What are you three not telling me? We took you back to the beginning, Chris. Since you seem to think this town has nothing to offer, we thought we'd show you a new perspective. Okay, I got my perspective. Decent guy makes a town, people are happy. Now let's get out of here. Oh no, you're not done yet. We have a couple more lessons planned for you. The only way you're getting out of this is by opening that book and continuing on your journey. Fine, just give me the book. You know, I'm pretty sure this is some type of federal affair. Whoa! As if that wasn't hard enough the first time. Uh, guys, wait, where'd you go? Where'd they go and where am I now? Am I a now? This building looks familiar. Wait, maybe this guy's a phone. Hi, uh, can you help me? I think I'm a little lost. Yes, sir. How may I be of assistance? Well, I was with some, uh, friends, and now I don't know where they are, and I can't find my way out. How could they do this to me? I hear that. Someone you trusted lets you down. Yeah, but I don't think you really understand my situation. Oh, I probably know a little bit more than you think. It wasn't too long ago that I was in a situation like that. What do you mean? Well, I didn't always work for this university. No, sir. I used to work for a man down in Georgia. Wasn't too kind, neither. Had to leave my mama, too. Oh. What did you say your name was? My name's Charles Bell. Honored to be caretaker here at University at Lewisburg. What year is it? That's an unusual question. It's 1867, two years since the war ended. Do you mean the Civil War? Yes, sir, it was. That was before I moved up here, many years ago in the year of 1849. For four weeks, we kept to the mountains. After we had been traveling for a week or two, we came down to the highway. But almost the first thing we saw was a poster nailed to a dead tree, describing me and offering a reward for my return. That frightened us so. We never again ventured on, on the highway in the daytime. Oh, man. I, I can't imagine what that was like. Couldn't have been much worse. Try picturing running for your life, leaving your family behind and not being able to see them every day. Trying to survive in another country. Make sure you show your family some love. You don't know how long you'll have them. I didn't even hug my mom goodbye this morning. We all got trials and tribulations. Some look different than others. But the only thing we can do about it is the next right thing. Might even help you find your way. But I don't know what my next right thing is. You will if you just go looking for it. Water come from? Help! Help! Please, 
somebody, anybody help. Hey, 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 what's wrong, little girl? My daddy, I can't find my dad anywhere. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Where did you see him last? He went off with some other men to help people get to dry land, but he's been so long and we didn't expect the water to reach here. People ran and ran by and said the grocery store and the bowling alley are flooded and all the water is all the way up to St. Catherine Street. Okay, okay. What's your name? Margaret. But some people just call me Peggy. Okay, Peggy. I'm Chris. We're going to be okay. We need to find somewhere dry. What about over there? You can climb on top of that roof. I can't do that. I'm really afraid of heights. Look at me. There's a lot of water down there. If your dad were here, what would he want you to do? Stay safe or stay put? Stay safe. Okay, let's get up there. Got it? Okay, good. Sit down. Right here. There we go. See? Nothing to it. I don't know what to do. What if my dad's hurt or... Hey, hey, it's okay. You know, someone once told me when things are hard, the only thing you can do is the next right thing. Look at you. You're one foot in that direction. You got to a safe place, which is what your dad would want, right? What's your next right thing? Truly wonderful, Chris. Hey, what? Where have you three been? How'd you get up here? Oh, we never left you. Right. We've been watching to make sure you did it right. Did what right? What are you talking about? Learned your lesson, Chris. You still have one more to learn. What do you mean? I want to go home. You three can't be serious. Give me the book. I'm going back. You can have it, but it's not going to take you anywhere until you do it. What are they talking about? Where are you going? Are you going to leave me here? They're, uh, well, listen, that's not important. The important thing is that I'm opening this book and getting... Peggy, where did you say your dad was? He went with the police boat to go rescue people hours ago. He told me to stay put. Peggy, your dad, he... He... Your dad was... Is... A hero. He loves you a lot. Hey kids, are you two okay up there? Oh look! A boat! Yeah, you see that guy? It's uh... Hey, where'd you go? We're coming to get you. You're gonna be just fine. Young lady, help the girl down and then we'll lower you down. Thank you, Chris. I don't know where I would have gone without you. Don't mention it. I... Please tell me it is over. Hey, 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 that's the bridge. This is Soldier's Park. Aye, it's his lass. Now, move out of the way so you don't get destroyed. <laughs> okay, uh, you got it. I... Chris? Grandma! Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my, that's a big hug, Chris. I see you got into the spirit of things. Yeah, I guess I underestimated the history of this place. I didn't realize so much happened and so many people lived here, like Ludwig Durr and Charles Bell and this little girl named Margaret. Oh, how good it is to see you. Harriet, how are you? Hey, have you met my granddaughter, Chris? Hello, Chris. Is that short for something? Yeah, it's short for Christine. Oh, that's just like you, Margaret. Remember your nickname when we were kids? Peggy? I... yes. Chris, how did you know that? Oh, a uh, lucky guess. Grandma, when we get back home, can you tell me about the flood in the 70s? Oh, Chris, I'd be happy to. Well, take this funnel cake with you for a snack. Chris was looking for some earlier. Thanks, Harriet. You are most welcome, Chris. Okay, kids, we would love to hear some of the things that you heard or that you learned from this wonderful story. So the first question is, do you remember who Ludwig Dürr is and what Chris learned? Connor, what do you think? The start of Lewisburg. 
He wanted the town to, na- to be named after him. Do you remember what Chris learned from Charles Bell? He said when times are hard, you should just do the next good thing. All right, Connor. And what about you, Gabe? Like when he, like what he said, when times are hard, just take another step forward and move on. Great. And what about you, Sophia? You just have to take a step forward on what you're doing. Great answers, kids. Okay, next question. Do you remember the character Peggy in the story? What did Chris learn from helping Peggy? She learned about empathy. Oh, big word. Very good. Sophia, what do you think? Like going into those places that she did. Oh, Connor, did you have something else? And she learned what it felt like to be in someone else's shoes. Why couldn't Chris leave after helping Peggy? Because Peggy wasn't to safety yet. Leaving when, when to be selfish and not kind. And what about you, Sophia? She couldn't leave because Peggy's dad wasn't there because he went somewhere like on a boat to save some stuff. What was your favorite part about this wonderful show about Lewisburg? I love learning the history and the ghosts were kind of funny and I liked the flood part. My grandma used to talk about the flood, so I remembered it. Oh, very good. So you remembered something that you've heard before. All right, Gabe, what was your favorite part about the show? My favorite part was when Charles Bell said, take the next step to try and do something right the next time. And what about you, Sophia? What was your favorite part about the show? I don't really have a favorite part. I liked all of it. And did you have a favorite character? I guess Peggy. Just like you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't judge a town by its size. Lewisburg is great. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you'd like to make a donation to the Arts Council of Lewisburg, please visit lewisburgartscouncil.com. If you'd like to join us for our next adventure, email our creator, Dave Simons, at davesimonsmusic at gmail.com. Today's story was written by Dave Simons, Maggie Abel, Kate Leiser, and Obreen Timon. Our historical team included Sam Pearson, Stephen Lindenmuth, Bill Brobst, and Della Hutchison. Original music was composed by Joe Jackson and Paul Anderson. The voice talent included Ray Morgan, Quentin Faison, Maggie Abel, Dave Simons, Kate Leister, Quinn Stanford, Melissa Fast, Joseph Baltz, Diane Scott, Lauren Haltman, Becky Rice, Lucy Fast, Lorraine Fast, Sophia Fast, Amy Cajigas, Joanne Risso, Broderick Lesher, Andrew Schaefer, Connor Haltman, Gabe Haltman, and Kaden Molesky. Our producer was Dave Simons. Special thanks to Connie Tim and Sarah Kelly. Make sure to check out the video documentary that pairs with this drama as well as our digital program. You can find these at solo.to slash Lewisburg Arts Council. S-O-L-O dot T-O slash Lewisburg Arts Council. I'm Dave, and I'm hoping you'll join us again for another Lewisburg story. (laughs) 